the budget calc. We're not gonna make it to the end of the year, let alone to the next robot. And there's no more sponsors or grants we can acquire. We still have one way. The RoboSub Diamond is stored in one of the pools. We just have to get to finals to get close enough to be able to steal it for ourselves. With that money, we can pay off competition for the next two years. Yeah. And well, we already have Arctos, but we're gonna have to make some updates for the heist. Mechanical can patch up Arctos and update subsystems like the torpedoes and claw. Electrical will rework the wire harness, figure out a better battery system, and build a new passive sonar. Software can figure out how to enhance data filtering and refine the motion planner and mission plan. Lastly, admin can support the other sub-teams by handling the remaining budget, logistics, documentation, and media. Alright, Mechanical, let's review the plan. In order to pull this off, we'll need Arctos to be capable of smashing through any obstacle. We've kept the basics of Arctos the same, with the hull and frame optimized for easy mounting and modulator. But this year, we've moved the batteries to external enclosures for hot swapping. And the torpedoes are still spring-loaded, but the launch mechanism has been redesigned to allow for rapid reload. Plus, the claw's been redesigned for the unique shape of the diamond. All right, gents. In addition to our hardware upgrades, we've optimized our power management system to include voltage regulation and efficiency overall. By doing so, we've minimized energy consumption and prolonged the life to have our batteries ensure uninterrupted operations during the heist. Gentlemen, what other improvements have you made? So we've added a new sonar system, with heading angles of 23 degrees and navigating with your degrees. We've also focused on quality of life. We've added two new OLED screens to the sensor board to negative pressure, temperature, and voltage. This allows us to confirm operation before testing. New lithium-ion batteries, portable testing boards, battery leveling, and updated servos have made prepping and running Arctos for the heist easier. Alright, software. How are we hacking in? We've created a new common filter to integrate readings from our DVL and IMU. This data, along with our cameras and sonar, are sent to our mapper, which creates a 3D map of our environment. We then send this information to the mission planner, which decides where the robot needs to go to steal the diamond. Then, we send this to the motion planner, which will allow us to move sneakily through the course. To make sure everything's perfect, we've updated our simulator with physical interactions and made improvements to all of the code base. Alright, let's hack into the mainframe. We may be out of cash, but we've done a damn fine job gathering grants and sponsorships, plus an ATA all the accounts. For the heist, we've put together everything for the entrance and getaway. All the design documentation, websites, safety, flights, and accommodations have been taken care of. All that's left is to put Arctos to the test. Introducing Arctos, circa 2024. Arctos now sports external batteries, an updated torpedo launcher, beefier grippers, a cleaner wire harness, and a new sonar board. Combined with improvements to motion planning and sensor fusion, we're confident ARVP and Arctos are ready for Robosome.